What is this character? Mihoyo. <laughs> What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna do a comparison for his constellations. So the third giveaway video, it was supposed to be for January, but it is posted on February. It is posted and make sure you go check it out because there's not many views. That means there's a higher chance for you to win the giveaway. The link is in the pinned comments. Make sure you check it out. The rule is simple. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, leave a like to the video and read my pinned comments and answer to my question. So. Right now, I have him at level 80 out of 90. He's got 2300 attack with 77% critical rate, 147.9% critical damage with 148% energy charge and 61% animal damage bonus. I wouldn't say his artifacts are the best. I was not happy with it, but I had to compensate because he's out and I have to do showcase. So this is how his artifacts look like. One of the reason why I think Xiao is worth to pull is because his ascension stats are critical chance, just like Diluc. That's why Diluc was really, really easy to build. And that's why a lot of people were saying that he's too strong and he was breaking the game. So yeah, Xiao is Animo. That means he's not going to be able to do crazy amount of damage by using Melt and Vaporize elemental reactions. But I have been noticing that he was doing some damage. If you have seen it last video, but this is after I got him to level 80 out of 90. And also I have made his talent to be level 8 for his normal tech. And if you did not notice, his multipliers are pretty aggressive. It's pretty nice. This is his E multiplier, which is 354% skill damage. And the cooldown is 10 seconds. And he's got two stacks at C0, which is very nice, right? If you use E, you'd probably notice that you get a lot of energies back. That means you should be able to use your Q pretty quickly. Although his energy cost is 70, you can gather energy pretty quickly. And also, I've been hearing that a lot of people were complaining about how his life drain is too much. But if you level him up to level 7, then it drains less life. This is just actually really nice. So, we are gonna first take a look at his strength. And of course, we can try him out in the Valin and see how it goes. Okay, so if you have been watching my videos, you probably know the reason why I have this team. Long story short, 2 Geo for Geo Resonance. Bennett is because of Bennett and Albedo, C6, right? So that I can do more damage with Shao Plunge Attack, Malbedo, C4. And Zhongli's E. He's got a buff. Here we go. Actually, I'll do Plunge Attack first and then do Autos. Okay? That makes more sense. Okay. So that was Basically he's just doing, doing too much damage <laughs> Okay But you have to keep that in mind That I am using R5 Jade Spear Like that was my first hit right So I wasn't having any kind of stacks So with full stacks I would have done more damage But this is my C0 shell and his talent level, nothing crazy. Level 8, level 6, and 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Constellation and see what's going to make him broken, okay? A lot of people had been telling me that, oh, he's so crazy in C6. Well, of course, I would say most of the 5-star characters that has C6 are pretty crazy. So here we go. It says increases E's charge by 1. So from 2, he gets 3. That is indeed crazy. And a lot of people were saying that this is really worth it. But let me emphasize this again and again and again. Spending in game, especially gacha game, $200 for this, I'm not so sure. Because you might feel like you're weak in the game. But if you keep on farming and get nice artifacts, then you should be good. Let me repeat that again. You should be good. Think about it one more time. You think you want to do this? Okay, let's see what it does. And... So what can you exactly do with these? Well, of course, first, you should be able to do more damage. But I was thinking that this could be used in explorations. So, you know, if you don't have Venti, you can use your Albedo. Climb up the elevator, jump. And while you're flying, you can use E, like that.
pretty neat, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah, you see the difference, right? It helps you travel further, like that. That was the C1. And let's take a look at his C2. It says, when in the party and not on the field, Chao's energy recharge is increased by 25%. Especially when you're using two animal characters, like including Xiao, then he should be able to cover his lack of energy recharge rate if you went for full DPS. I've seen people going like 70 or 80% crit rate with 150, 170% critical damage and it's going like, yo, my Xiao too OP. But in my opinion, a certain amount of energy charge is needed for Xiao so that you can actually either spam Q or be able to use his Q more frequently. All right, you know what? We can take him to maybe Cryo Resist Vine and see what's gonna happen there. So after I use my Xiao's Q, we're gonna take a look at the time it takes for Xiao to get his Q back up again by using the same rotation and skills. So, okay, 25%. Uh, will we be able to see the difference? That's one. What it means to have extra charge on Xiao's E is that he can get his energy back a lot faster. So that's always a good thing, being able to use his ult more frequently. There are some random factors because you get some energies back randomly as you're doing autos. Okay, for all that time I have this. Okay, do we see the difference? Mm. It would have been so much better if we um, actually tried out the animal character, I am so sorry. I honestly don't know the difference right here. But according to the skill description, yes, it should be better. Because usually when you don't have your Q up, Xiao is going to be doing less damage. So that means you're probably going to swap out to a different character to either use their ult or try to get more energies back. So this is going to be a very good consolation. Is it worth $200 for this one? Uh, I don't know. Not much. C1 is probably one of the best, okay? And the third one is level, right? So leveling E by 3, okay? We can take a look at the percentage difference. Oh wow, it's now 430%. And this one. When Xiao's HP falls below 50%, he gains a 100% defense bonus. You know how when you use Q on Xiao, you continuously lose your HP, right? And this constellation should help you survive a little longer. Uh, but then this was really weird in my eyes for the first time when I saw it. But this would be really, really good for the end game players because who really needs healer in this game right now? Especially when you have C6 only, right? So pretty much C4 has a very good synergy with C6 only. And I noticed it. So, shall we kind of see the difference between the damage that he takes above HP percentage, 50% and below? Okay, okay, let's do that. We can quickly find that out. Okay, here. Let's start getting hit. But I should not get hit by that stupid assassin. Okay. Did you guys see the damage difference? Okay, 818 damage. It was like 1100 damage, and now that my HP is below 50%, I took less damage. So that is a meaningful constellation. To me, it feels like if you have a healer, it's meaningless. But this would be really good if you are planning to use C6 only with Xiao. For his fifth constellation, it increases the level of Bane of All Evil, which is his Q, right? Here we go. And now it drains his life 2% per second and 90.0% additional damage. 90.7% damage bonus. What is this? And let's just move on to C6 because we just want to find out about his C6, right? It says while under the effect of his Q, hitting at least two opponents with Xiao's plunging attack will immediately grant him one charge of his E. And for the next one second, he may use his E cycling while ignoring his cooldown. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go to Maiden Beloved Set Dungeon. 
Let's go. We are going to fully utilize everyone's skills. So this would be very fun to watch. Okay. There was more than two. I need to hit two. What happened to... What happened to everyone? What happened to everyone? What? I was not able to even figure out what was going on. And everyone was dead. What? Shall we go to Sparrow Abyss? That might be better. Or is he going to be too strong? Hopefully, he's not going to be too strong. Okay, we were taking him to floor 11. So, this is not about the team comp. But I just wanted to see the performance. First, we can try to use Monazi. Whoa! Whoa! I can't spam his E! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? I get E charge and I get to spam it. What is this character? Mihoyo. <laughs> It turns him into a different character. <laughs> wow. What more can I say, right? Is he worth it? For C0, yes, it's worth it. For C6, not gonna lie, it feels like Ganyu again. And was it worth $1,400? Probably not. But if I was really lucky to get it in like maybe, I don't know, $200, that would have been good. That would have been good. This is gonna be my favorite toy. But like I said in AR56 video, it feels like my artifacts are getting better and better. And every time I do a showcase, I'm using R5 weapons. And I'm just too strong to showcase anything. So you can see people trying to like one shot Devalin effortlessly, even without food. So yeah, this is the state of Genshin Impact right now. But luckily for me, I'm a content creator and I really feel happy when I do a showcase like this to show you guys what a character is going to be like if you spend money, right? So I hope you guys had fun. This video is not intended to make you salty, but rather for entertainment. And for those of you who are actually willing to spend money for this, for your information, right? Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.